Hi friends, I'm so excited that you're back to join me again. Now Miss Yang wants to do some science today. Now as you know, for the month of April, we are learning about bugs and insects. So today I wanted to read you a very cool book that has lots of different bugs and insects inside. Now this book that we're gonna read is called, Have You Seen Bugs? And it is written by Joanne Oppenheim and illustrated by Ron Broda. So let's take a look inside to see all the different bugs and insects that we can learn about. Have you seen bugs? Itty bitty bugs, small as specks of sand. Wide winged bugs, bigger than your hand. Bugs with stripes or speckles or spots, shiny like metal or covered in dots. Iridescent bugs that shimmer in the light. Winking, blinking bugs that twinkle in the night. Dark as bark and green as grass. See-through bugs with wings like glass. Shaped like thorns or sticks or leaves. Burrowed in bubbles or clinging to trees. Hide and seek bugs. Can you see these? So there's some, le some bugs that look like leaves. So there's some bugs that look like sticks. Let's see if you can find them. Watch out for these show-off bugs with colors bold and bright. Flashy, sassy, daring bugs, such easy bugs to sight. Like warning signs, bold markings say, I'm poison, I smell, I sting, stay away. So a lot of bugs, when they're more colorful and they look very bright and they have lots of colors, that usually means they might be poisonous or they might be dangerous and it's better not to uh, touch them. Have you seen bugs and how they move? Long-legged bugs jumping with a bound, short-legged bugs running on the ground. Some are fast, they dart and leap, and some are slow, they crawl and creep. Bugs that flutter and scurry and dive. Bugs that buzz around a hive. Walking on the ceiling, crawling up a wall. Some bugs hardly move at all. What about water bugs? Walking on water bugs. Swimming under water bugs and skimming over water bugs. Oaring, soaring, whirling, twirling, striding, gliding. Have you seen these? So there are some bugs that can walk on water, there's some bugs that can swim under the water, and there's bugs that swim over the water. Have you heard bugs? Bugs have no voices, but they still can sing, rubbing their legs or whirring their wings. Busy crickets in thickets wait for night to fall, when they rub their legs together and chirp their mating call. So there are some bugs that like to make a lot of noise at night when they rub their legs together or when, they're flap, when they flap their wings really fast. So some bugs can make noises. A bug has no ears on its little bug head, but some bugs hear through their legs instead, while others use antenna to taste and hear and smell, and tiny hairs that touch and tell and help them find their mates as well. Some bugs even use their feet to take a taste before they eat. So for people, we use our eyes to see, we use our nose to smell, we use our mouth to taste, and we use our hands to feel and also our ears to listen. But bugs, sometimes they have to use their legs to listen. And sometimes they use their antennas at the top of their head to taste things or hear things or smell things. And some of them even use their feet to taste the food before they eat it. Have you seen bugs and how they eat? Beetles have mouths they can bite and chew and snip, while others like butterflies have mouths like with straws that sip. Most bugs dine on plants, some bugs dine on meat. Others take a nip of blood or, sweet, or sip on nectar sweet. Have you seen baby bugs? Inside a hive nesting in hair, Bugs hatch from eggs everywhere. Underwater, underground, in so many places, bug eggs are found. In the bark of trees or wrapped up in leaves, baby bugs hatch from all of these. Baby bugs are small, but just for a bit. Little bugs keep growing till their skins don't fit. 
but some bugs form a chrysalis or spin a fine cocoon where abracadabra they grow wide wings in a magical changing room. Have you seen working bugs? From, from flower to flower, bugs work as they go, carrying pollen that makes gardens grow. If it weren't for bugs, orchards would be bare. You couldn't have an apple, an orange, or a pear. There wouldn't be corn or pumpkins or wheat. Without bugs, we'd have very little to eat. Burrowing, weaving, or building a nest. Gathering, guarding, seldom at rest. Working by day and working by night. Spinning wondrous webs or taking off in flight. Sleek as a needle, furry as a bear. So many kinds of bugs living everywhere. An army of ants, a flurry of fleas, a band of moths, a swarm of bees. Billions of bugs. Have you seen these? The end. So my friends, that was so much fun. I loved reading about all the bugs and the insects and I hope you enjoyed it. And me and Andy the ant will see you next time for science. Bye.